I mean, she saw it all, just right in front of her. As the deputy director shot her father, who was trying to warn her of the danger they were in. Immediately, the deputy director ordered an ambulance and quickly, the professor was taken to the hospital. Mary was devastated for she doesn't know if her father was alive or dead as Terry assured her that he knows her father will pull through. They were soaked and drenched in gasoline from the sprinters in the building. From the warning they got from the professor, they understood that they had to go to the 75th floor where a hidden chamber is, which was the same floor and room Utilanta resurrected from. But they had no choice for the building will go up in flames in no time. It was easy for them to go in upstairs for all the monsters were downstairs except Utilanta. As predicted by the weather alert, it began to rain and it was no ordinary rain, but a downpour. To be specific, a storm. And to make matters worse for the FBI, they couldn't detect the monster's movement. It was as if they were not there. But the reality is that the monsters were waiting for the right and appointed time to strike. At the 52nd floor, they went up further as the smell was choking and causing them to cough, which was also suffocating. Professor Dent arrived at the hospital and was immediately rushed to the surgery and the deputy director asked to be informed when the surgery was over. The weather was chaotic with more heavy rainpour, which made it difficult for the helicopters that were meant to incinerate the building in the air. It was hard for the pilots to control the helicopters effectively. At the 75th floor, they were aware that Untilanta was close by, especially the area where the chamber is situated. As they entered the office close to the chamber where Utilanta was resurrecting and initiating the dead and the living, Utilanta was nowhere to be found. So Terry asked Mary to lock herself in the chamber without him while he distracts Utilanta. Mary objected due to the fact that he was putting his life at risk, but he insisted that it was the best option as he had promised her father that he will do everything to make sure she is safe, in which developed into an emotional I love you moment as they embraced knowing how much mutual feelings they have for each other. But Utilanta appeared from nowhere, cutting off their romantic moments. Then Terry pushed Mary into the chamber and faced Utilanta, who at first wanted to go towards the chamber, but Terry called it out as a distraction away from Mary. With a lighter in his hand, he was desperate and ready to set the whole place ablaze. But Utilanta struck him as Mary watched in fear, pulling him by his hair and flung him across the office. The rainfall became more heavy and stormy with a heavy strong wind which made the helicopters lose their formations due to the turbulence which caused them to collide and exploded and there goes phase two down the drain. As Terry tried to get up and gain balance, Utilanta grabbed him from behind as Mary picked up an axe from the floor and struck Utilanta at its back as Utilanta in reverse struck Mary away. While Terry wrapped his arm around Utilanta's neck to pull it away from Mary but before he knew what was happening, Utilanta grabbed Terry from his back and threw him to the floor. Just so it will happen, on the floor next to Terry was a small gun-like lighter. He picked it up, switched it on and threw it to a gasoline-soaked field office. As Utilanta watched as the room went up in flames, as Terry and Mary immediately ran into the chamber for their safety as the fire consumed the whole office. The heavy rain was quenching the fire surrounding the building and the monsters were ready to step out for the strike. And the FBI at this time had given up hope for they were expecting the worst. And they know it will be disastrous for the monsters numbers were unknown but as they look up to the building they saw the 75th floor in flames as the fire trickled downwards and it engulfed the building as the fire ran downwards burning everything on its way and when the fire reached downstairs it busted into the hallway where the monsters were waiting to go outside for the attack and burn all the monsters and those monsters that ran outside were also burned as the FBI watched as the monsters were killed by the fire as Utilanta was burning, it tried to use its last strength to smash its way into the chamber. But Terry and Mary held the door as firm as they could as the fire consumed Utilanta and burned it to ashes. The fire was great as it covered every room and destroyed every living thing that moved at sight, except Terry and Mary, whom were still in the chamber. The smoke of the fire was penetrating into the chamber. The air was too hot to breathe in, and no matter how hard Terry tried to keep the smoke from the room, it was to no avail. They knew there was no way they could come out of this alive for the heat was increasing due to the fire. I must tell you that due to the heat which was at 2000 degrees, Terry and Mary died in the fire due to smoke inhalation. The FBI knew there was no way the any monsters could survive this. So they began to infuse the building with water to cool it off through the splinters. At the end of the whole incident, the firemen came into the building to clear things up and through their investigation they found 
who and what caused that miraculous fire that killed Utilanta and its vampires, realizing it was Terry and Mary whose body were found in the chamber. Professor Dent made it through the surgery and was forced under a non-disclosure not to ever reveal what really happened at the building for it might freak the public. So instead of telling the public that it was a vampire attack, they lied that it was a terrorist attack and the case was closed. But who will ever believe the truth? Thank <laughs> you.